What's up everybody? What's that behind me there? Stay tuned. My name is Dion, you're watching Reptiliatus. Welcome back to another Feeding Friday video. Let's get into the reptile room and see who we're gonna feed today. Well, I guess you already know because you probably saw the video title. So in today's video, we are going to be feeding all of my snakes. That's my two rhinoceros rat snakes. We have Nib, Pinocchio, we have my garter snakes, Sylvanite, or I call her Sylvie, Inferno, and my Mexican black king snake named Kira. These animals are fed a wide variety of feeders that I give them, whether it's earthworms for some of them. They'll eat a fish and invertebrate formula food provided by Reptibites. I feed them amphibians. I feed them small birds and rodents. I try to give them a varied diet that is representative of what they be eating in the wild because all too often we find that snakes in captivity are overfed rodents. Now that could be the natural diet for a lot of species, but there are two things that often happen in captivity. The first and most prevalent is overfeeding. Snakes are oftentimes overfed. In my experience, most of my snakes are eating once every two weeks, sometimes even less often, and I vary the size of their food. And uh, as you know, I vary the type of food they're eating. Rodents tend to be the fattiest, especially under wean, because they're full of milk from their mother. And that can add a lot of fat on an animal that doesn't necessarily get as much exercise by a long shot as it would in the wild. So these are all things we have to take into account while also providing enrichment and space for our animals to grow and thrive. With that being said, it's been some time. Sylvanite and Inferno have come out of their winter dormancy. They haven't eaten in months, so I imagine they're gonna be very eager to eat. Nib and Pinocchio are ready to just have their regular bi-weekly meal, so every other week they eat. And well, <laughs> Kira's Kira, and yeah, it's been a few weeks since she's eaten. I'm confident she's gonna take some food from us. So there you go. I'm excited to feed these five snakes and show you. I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, I make videos about specialty pets, such as reptiles, amphibians, and different kinds of cool invertebrates. So if that's something you're interested in learning about, definitely consider subscribing down below and dinging that little notification bell afterwards so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Let's get into the Feeding Friday, everybody. I'm so excited. All right, so I got my fresh water dishes here that are all washed and dried, um, but I'm gonna remove these tanks and bring them over to my desk so that you guys can watch the garter snakes eat better because they're not front uh, opening tanks. We can't get the best angle or view. So we'll start here with Inferno, my male, and give him some tasty food. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is just place his water dish back in his terrarium and fill it up. Not too worried about that overflowing. Okay, so as I said before, these guys very, very rarely are offered rodents. Like this guy hasn't eaten a mouse in probably eight months or so. This is gonna be something very special for him, but you can tell he's already going nuts for it. He is a Thamnophis sertalis infernalis. He's a California red-sided garter snake. Very nice looking animal, as you can see. And again, he's recently come out of his winter brumation. So he's just eager to get some food in his body might even come have a drink in front of us which would be really cool to see how are you look at all that blue isn't he just stunning he's, he's a gorgeous snake look at this animal's coloration let's see if he's ready for the pinky mouse here we go here we go look at him you got it look at this snake absolutely gorgeous animal again he does not get rodents often in fact he's been on a very very strict diet so this is a rare treat for him just to start off the year or the new season his first meal of 2024 truly such a beautiful snake i can't wait to be able to pair him with sylvanite and hopefully reproduce them like he might be retreating with his mouse meal he wants to eat in privacy oh there we go he's making some good progress now oh my gosh look at that the isopods are trying to get a little snack while he's feeding there's porcelianoides prunosis a sort of the bioactive crew inside his enclosure and it's kind of hilarious that they're eating this mouse's tail while he's still trying to swallow his food clearly they make quick work of any organic uh, waste or i guess deceased animals in this case 
All right, he is enjoying that. Time for us to move on. Good to see you out, buddy. Okay, everybody, so this is Sylvanite's enclosure. Let's also get her water dish in there for her. I'll take the lid off, set the water dish in just like so, and we'll fill it up. Now for Sylvanite, ugh, it's hard to do with one hand. We're gonna be offering her some Nightcrawler earthworms. Normally, I would dust these with some supplement, but today we're just gonna give them to her like this. Should be fine. So let's give her one now and then another one right after. Already see she's oozing around here. Hopefully she'll come out. There's Sylvie, everybody. I'm offering her a worm. Isn't she spectacular? Well, that is a pretty garter snake. So I've dropped the worm here. She got it! Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And that's how it's done. It's not going anywhere. Pretty crazy. Kind of feel bad for the worm, but I'm also very happy for Sylvie. She's very hungry. It's probably her first meal since either the end of October or early November. All right, let's give her a second. We'll give her another one. Oh, she is sensing that worm just moving down now. I think we're good to offer another. Let's put it up here for her and she can come over here. You got it. Hilarious. Ooh, look at that. See all the mucus? Pretty amazing, I gotta say. Time to move on to another kind of snake. For today's question of the day, I'd like to ask you all, what is one of your favorite qualities or attributes associated with keeping snakes as pets? Perhaps it's the fact that they don't have to eat nearly as often as most other types of reptiles kept as pets. I'll leave it at that because I want to leave you the opportunity to respond down below. Leave your comments down below and as always I'll give you a comment a heart and we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Thanks so much, let's get back to the feedings. Looks like Kira's next. Okay, just like you saw in last week's video, my female Mexican black king snake. I'm just gonna do this a sec because usually she's somewhere around there. Sense the rodents and she'll come flying out. I know this girl's here somewhere. There she is, Kira. Oh, you got a spider web on your face. Oh, here she comes. Oh, here we go. The coil. See, I do this a little bit. You get some natural behavior, just like that. See, we we'll put her up there. Now she's totally coiling around everything. Looks like Kira is finally starting to swallow this mouse. Yeah, she seems to really be thriving in this terrarium. And she's always out and about and very curious. So there's Kira for you. I hope you enjoyed seeing her as much as she enjoyed eating. Look at her, she looks like a pretzel, a deformed pretzel. All right, well, we'll let her keep hanging or whatever it is she's doing down there. You good? Hey, I'm not food. Let's move on. And as always, everybody, I want to take a quick moment to sincerely thank the patrons over on, oh boy, I don't have my sleeve, Patreon, the Patreon platform. Thank you so much, everyone, for those of you looking for a way to support the channel further than just watching and thumbing up and commenting, which are always going to be the best things you can do. There's Patreon for as little as $2 a month. You can become a Patreon supporter, unlock a whole skew of perks, direct line of communication with me, and more. For more information on my Patreon, visit the link down below in the video description. And as always, when you become a Patreon paid supporter, you get an in-video shout out. So today we are thanking our newest patrons since the last shout out in a video, and that is Michael. Michael, thank you so much for becoming my newest channel patron. I look forward to conversing with you more and getting to know you better on the platform there. Thank you so much for your consideration, everybody. We'll get back to the video now. Okay, so next up is Pinocchio. He's my male rhinoceros rat snake. We're gonna be offering him a frozen thawed quail chick. He's, as I said before, sort of hit and miss with these, but hopefully because it was thawed out with mice, it'll get him more receptive. Hey buddy, what's this? Oh yeah, he went for it. Nice, look at that. And he's eating in his water dish, so of course I'm gonna have to wash that again. It is pretty cool to see them eat in the water. Hard to believe how tiny they were way back when I first got them. And now they have all this beautiful coloration slowly coming in. Their noses or their little horns look so funny. They're very animated when they move their jaws, as you can see, <laughs> like curled down and up. It's like a Muppet or something. <laughs> very, very cool. And just like that, he's all done. Swallowed the whole bird. All right, 
Up next and last is Nib. You have a bird for her as well. Gently get her tension like this. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, she got it. Very good, Nib. Thank you. <laughs> They're truly little dragons. It's just unbelievable. Crazy, you can see where the head is. Oh gosh, that is nasty. I think that's a bit of yolk or something from the bird. Hey, don't fall out of your terrarium. I know you're big for it. Now you're gonna get an awesome rehousing, but don't fall out. That's where the beak is from the bird. Here we go. Looks like she just about swallowed the whole thing. You can see it slowly moving down. Pretty awesome. All right, Nib, don't get mad at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I swear I'm sorry. Let me close your door. <laughs> there we go. You're good, you're good. <laughs> All right, guys, that was super cool. Well, everybody, there you have it. I sincerely hope you enjoyed watching this Feeding Friday episode where I featured all my pet snakes. I don't show you all my snakes nearly as often as I should. And now that Sylvanite and Inferno are out, and also the fact that we're rehousing or rehouse, depending when this video comes out, Nib and Pinocchio, there's just a lot more I want to show you guys and I want to make sure to emphasize their presence in the reptile room and how much I love snakes. Sure, maybe my heart has a bit of a bigger compartment for lizards. Uh, I just absolutely love, love, love lizards. But that's not to say that snakes aren't very dear and near to me as well. And I gotta show them more love on the channel. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you thought about seeing all these guys. And if you want to see them more often, comment down below, give the video a thumbs up, give more suggestions on snake related content if you like. I can't wait to see you all next week for an upcoming video. Thanks so much, everybody. If you want to see more videos pertaining to feeding my pets, check out the feeding video playlist up above. Otherwise, I can't wait to see you all next week. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye.